Hello, how are you? My name is Diamond from Honor Diamonds. I'm going to show you how the Query API we have developed for SAP Business One works. For those of you who love working with the SAP Business One service layer, you know there are queries that you are not able to write. Of course, you have access to query service and SQL queries, but they have limitations when it comes to writing complex queries. Query service allows you to retrieve data specific to an entity, for example, invoice header and lines. It fails to work with other entities that do not provide an object or entity key in rows, such as journal entry. I don't even know why SAP decided not to put a relationship here. It's not the only entity that I have seen. There are a couple of other entities. This may of course vary with the versions of SAP. We also have SQL queries, which is a very good innovation that SAP Business One brought to us. However, as of now, it only supports basic queries. For earlier versions of SAP, Business One, specifically SQL on version 10, it doesn't have access to JDT1. And SQL version 10, 2, 3, 1, it has access to JDT1, but does not have access to OACT table. Also, it does not support some query functions such as format, sum of column A minus B. And I believe there are many other functions it does not support. This makes it a real nightmare for developers to develop edging reports using service layer since they are forced to retrieve all the journal entry rows and do some memory computations which makes it practically impossible where there are too many transactions. This is the reason why we developed a query API that allows developers to write any query that is supported by either SQL or HANA databases and get the results as JSON data. This makes it a lot easy to retrieve data from SAP without having to worry about connection strings, drivers, and so on. All right, let me show you how this works. All right, so what we have on the screen here is we have a query which you can neither write using all data nor SQL queries. All right, so what I'm going to do just to show you that it works, I'm just going to click send then it's going to make a query. Once it has uh, retrieved the data, it will show you the response uh, back as a JSON uh, response. So you cannot do this using SQL queries in SAP Business One because it does not allow you to use uh, special characters such as format. And also in the version that I'm using, it does not have access to OACT table. All right, and other versions like I indicated does not have uh, access to JDT1, which are earlier versions of uh, SAP SQL version 10. All right, for those that are worried about uh, security, I can just go to the header here. I should be able to show you that there is a token that is being used here, uh, which is being used to authenticate or authorize the request. All right, so if you want to write any other query, you can just come here. I'm just going to cut this so that we can use it later on. All right, I'm going to do select, uh, let's say card, card, card name from OCRD or OCRD. All right, so I'm going to send a request and I'm going to get back the, the response as a JSON object. Of course, this may not be necessary because you still can be able to achieve this using all data or SQL queries uh, using the service layer. You can also write almost anything or any complex kind of uh, query that you would want. You can also retrieve items from almost any table that you want. And the good thing about this is you can give it to other developers and just give them uh, a token they are supposed to use. Then they can get almost anything they want from SAP Business One. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, goodbye.